Hello everyone and welcome to the 21st Asian Junior Team Championship. We have reached the final round. We are going to watch the first match which is going to be between Malaysia and Hong Kong. The first match we are going to watch is between Yashmita Pradesh Kumar of Malaysia and Lyung Chahuan of Hong Kong. You can see both these players warming up. The warm up is almost done and the action is about to get started. Some stats about both these countries. So there is a correction. We have Era Binti Azman from Malaysia and we have Wai Tse Wing from Hong Kong. The first match will happen between them. Arita, Arya is Malaysia's number one ranked player in the under 19 category and Asia's number two in the under 19 category as well. She is yet to lose a single match. We will start in 30 seconds. She also, Arya also has a world ranking of number 65 and her playing style is called as attack, attacking. Whereas, Wing is also ranked national, nationally ranked number one and Asian ranking holds a Asian ranking of number five in the world's under 19 category as well. She has a much more backcourt defensive game and here we are going to see both these players, both these amazing players go head to head in this final of the Asian Junior Team Championship, match number one. And here we've gone, we've started the match. And Malaysia off to a quick start by taking the first point on the board. Down. Two down. It's quick three, three quick fire points that Era has taken. Could just be a lot of nerves that are coming into this match. That both these players have. Of course, Asman had to take it back to continue her lead 
a three point lead that he has started with in this final. Both these players looking off to get their country off to a great start by going one love up and they would like to get it done as soon as possible because we all know the longer the matches last the more the pressure the more the nervousness the more the anxiousness oh that was just a quite tightly kept straight drive and Aya, while we are talking, has gone up to a massive, massive 8-1 lead. That's going to be difficult for Wing to get out of. And before she knows, the first set could get over. Therefore, he's called that ball down. Giving Wing a slight breather. But then again, Azman is not one of those who's going to bow down quickly. And she likes to get done with things quickly. That's the kind of message she's sending here. And she's already eight game balls up. Can she do it in the first go? What a great rally we're witnessing here at the start of the first. The end of the first. And yes, she does it. She's given Malaysia a good one love start. So some more facts about these players who are playing, these wonderful players who are playing on court. Uh, Era hails from Keda, a northern state in Malaysia. Squash runs in her family. Era, Efa and her eldest sister, Eka, make her one of the most successful families in squash in Malaysia. And then over to the other side. We have Y say wing. She's she holds the great honor of representing Hong Kong in the 26th Asian Junior Individual Championships held back in 2019. That is the last time it was held, and she is currently pursuing hotel and tourism management at Hong Kong Polytechnic University. She is also the 2022 Penang Junior Open Girls Under 19 runner up. Both these girls rank pretty high in the continent of Asia, number 2 and number 5, respectively. Azman taking the lead on that. So, Hong Kong's road to the semi-finals as they've gone through Singapore, India, Sri Lanka and Japan and they've not lost a single one. They won 3-love against Singapore, 2-1 against India, 3-love against Sri Lanka and 2-1 against Japan. Malaysia, on the other hand, 
has also not lost a single match. They won 3 love against Japan, Korea and Chinese Taipei and 2-1 against India yesterday in the semi-finals. Malaysia and Hong Kong both are yet to face a loss coming up to their campaign towards the Asian Junior Squash Team Championship. Just a quick head-to-head -head between these two teams, Hong Kong and Malaysia, they have encountered each other a total of 10 times in the Asian Junior Squash Team Championship Final. We're going to quickly go through them, go through each of them. In 91, Malaysian women won against Hong Kong. In 95, 97, 99, 2005, 2007. 2011, 15, 17 and 19, Malaysia These both teams have played together Total of 10 times That's been a large amount of times both these teams have played so, all of the senior ranked players currently playing on the PSA World Tour from Malaysia as well as Hong Kong have played each other at some point in the Asian Junior Team Championships. Both these teams do have a great rivalry going on against each other. Malaysia edging out Hong Kong in their head to head with six victories against Hong Kong's four victories. Hong Kong being the champion in 95, 2005, 2007 and 2011 with Malaysia taking the last three victories in 2015, 2017 and 2019 being the only team to do so three consecutive times and they would definitely want to take a fourth and make it a solid lead for any team in the future to be doing so. And coming back to the match at hand between Azman and Wing. And with a wonderful drop, Azman has made, has taken a lead at 9-8. I was just about to tell you guys what a good game Wing has been playing now in the second, in the second game. But as I said that, it was a taxi for Wing. And again, with a good cross court volley drive, Wing takes that point. Asman takes the takes the win for this game and leads two games to love.
Cameraman taking us over to the Hong Kong side. We have the coach. Extremely reactive. Trying to give wing verbal visual cues on what to do on court. Her teammates helping her calm down and relax before she goes on court and tries to stay in this competition and not lose out within three games. And here we have the Malaysian camp yesterday as well. We have the coaches talking to the athletes. Athletes at this point do have a lot to take in before going on court. And I believe it's best to let the players know as less as possible. Before they get on court. We are witnessing Malaysia versus Hong Kong in the finals of the Asian Junior Team Championship. We are done with two games. We are into third with Azman leading two games to love. We will have to get off to a good start because Azman has proven to be extremely dangerous at the business end of these games. And Azman has to do what she is good at. Start well. Start on a high note. Then keep going on from there. There has been a trend that I've observed in these past two games. The longer the rallies go, the higher the chances that Azman is going to hit an even better and more beautiful finisher. Now, if we could have got those stats up, that would be much more beautiful. And there has been a pace increase from Azman. Maybe trying to send a message to Wing that, hey, this is my game. And I'm not going to let you just take it away from me. Oh, and that unforced error. According to me, it was a forced error by Asman hitting a great finisher, which Wing could not pick up, and hence hit it out. And that now gives Asman a six-point lead at eight-two in the third. Wing will need a lot of these if she has to survive in this match. Can Hong Kong can Hong Kong win the Asian Junior Team Championship and make the head-to-head -head between Hong Kong and Malaysia 5-6? Because they will have to work hard.
That's pretty loose, and again, loose counter drop by Wing. That was a weird rally. And with that amazing win, Azman has given Malaysia a one love head start to their campaign towards winning this prestigious Asian Junior Team Championship. And Azman looking as focused as she was on court. Giving the cameraman some acknowledgement and her coaches and teammates as well. Teammates look pretty happy with that win. Some stress relief looking at her win that match. And here we have both the players who will be playing next on court. Azman looking visibly happy to take take that win and give their country, give her country a one love advantage. We'll have the names of the players on court soon. Cameraman just setting up the camera for us to see squash in a beautiful angle. Personally, these side view cameras give us a great view of the backcourt drive competitions that these players have throughout the match. The players warming up ball for the next match. We had to have the players' names on screen. And here we have it. The winners from yesterday's match. We have Jashmita Jadish Kumar, who's played all three matches come leading up to the finals and has never lost a single set in the tournament so far. And, they are, and on the other side, who we just had on screen in the white top. We have 
Toby, who yesterday we saw seeing the win in a thrilling manner against Kurumi Takahashi. Here we have Team Malaysia and Team Hong Kong on screen. We just saw Erasman win her match in a beautiful fashion against Team Hong Kong. She played against Wing and won her match 3 Love. And the next match we have Yashita Jadish Kumar versus Lam Toby.
They will resume in 60 seconds. They will resume in 30 seconds.
six, five.
we were resuming 60 seconds. They will resume in 30 seconds.
when the score is called. That's a great finish by Jadish Kumar. It's a pretty loose attempt at a lob, at a cross lob from Toby, and Jadish Kumar just handed it into the neck that she has for this one as well, narrowing it down to just three points between her and Toby. Can Jadish Kumar? Get back from this and win the match. Looks like she is on mission to do so. She looks determined, ready to crush her competition. But she's just handling the pin here, giving Toby three. Will we see a fifth? Not in the first time for sure. Toby's still got two more attempts to go. Just awarding Toby a no let. Less, nine, ten, Toby asking eight, because her racket touched her opponent, but the ref said she already made the decision after her racket touched the opponent. So she could have stopped and got a stroke, but she rather played on and lost the point with the mistake. And she takes that nine, point. By winning that game 11-9, taking it into a fifth game, fifth and final game to decide who will win. Will Malaysia, will Jadish Kumar give Malaysia the win and take it in, and put their name on the board of the most consistent team of all time, the greatest junior team all time winning seven Asian Junior Team Championships against their rival Hong Kong or will it be Hong Kong who will take it into a third and final match between these two rivals. Extremely nervous. Yeah. 
Jadish Kumar taking that first point on the leaderboard. This fifth game is, be, is going to be extremely interesting, folks. All of us just glued to our screen at this point because, again, these players have got nothing between them with two games all and one point each. Both these athletes giving their best by far on court. And just making few silly errors each. Maybe it's just the nervousness getting into the fifth game. Again, it's two all, two all. Remember, guys, these are one of the best players from Asia. And currently, Jadish Kumar making Toby one on court, but it's Toby who takes that point. By hitting a wonderful counter drop. Both these player pu players pushing hard, trying to take each point as it comes. Jadish Kumar just hitting it onto herself. Maybe again, it's just the nerves getting into this fifth. And it's all about winning this match and giving it to their teams, to their countries. By far, it's just been Radish Kumar either making a mistake or hitting a good winner. So it's kind of been Jadish Kumar all the way into the fifth. Now it's Toby's turn to hit it in the tin, giving Jadish Kumar a 6 4 lead. And this could be extremely costly for Toby. The quality of the game has increased significantly in this fifth game and Tadish Kumar just diving onto the court to pick up that ball game continues a big sweat patch left on the right side front right side of the court that could be dangerous play should be stopped at this point Toby takes that point and she knows what it means. Letting out a, a loud scream. We all can see what it means for her to win that point. Speed up, Five, six. Referee just asking Didish Kumar to speed up cleaning her glasses. It's a great tactic to take a bit of time for yourself. When these squash athletes do recover well within a couple of seconds. Again, Jadish Kumar just keeping the lead up at 
We did just see Jyush Kumar just hip check. Toby's like, and Toby has just been awarded a no let for not playing that service, taking extra time. And that's a critical decision at a crucial time. Coming in for Toby, and that's given Gadesh Kumar four. But now Toby takes it down to three points between her and Jadish Kumar. What a great cross court Wally Nick. So he has hit at that crucial moment. She's got nerves of steel, this woman. And a lot of excitement here from the Malaysian camp. And it is 10 7 championship ball for Jadish Kumar. Will she take it and let Malaysia take the victory home the seventh time? And she does it. Malaysia. Getting it up to seven championships against Malaysia. And the fourth team, the fourth time that they have won this prestigious championship in a row. Malaysia being the winners in the past four years. Malaysia winning this prestigious title in 2015, 2017, 2019 and now the champions again in 2023. Malaysia, the champions of the 21st Asian Junior Team Team Championship for the women's. What a great match we've had. What a great week we've had, guys. Please stay tuned because we've got The men's final coming up next and it's one of the big old rivalries we've had between the two countries of India and Pakistan coming up next see you in a bit folks
Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, welcome to the first match of India versus Pakistan. Boys in the 19th final. come time for the finals between India and Pakistan. So we're going to be having Krishna Mishra from India and Noor Zaman from Pakistan. Suffice to say that both players have had an excellent tournament but uh, Noor Zaman has just been in that extra bit of clinical form. He's not lost a single set whereas Krishna did suffer a loss. Suffered a loss against Harit Daniyal of Malaysia just before they played the semis. It's uh, interesting to note that the same opponent that Krishna lost to Harit Daniyal from Malaysia, Noor played against him yesterday in the semis and uh, beat him handily. 3-0, three, 3 love, sorry. As expected, I think there's a full house today for this finals match. India and Pakistan have encountered each other in the finals of this tournament a total of five times till now. and the only time that India has bested Pakistan in the finals was in 2011 in when the match was played in Colombo in Sri Lanka. placement there from Krishna takes the first point of the match. No response with a really delicate drop shot of his own. from Noor. He's, uh, he has built up a reputation in this tournament playing those tricky shots but usually he starts bringing them in after a few shots in a particular rally or 
maybe in the second half of the game. As it were. Hey, Nirav. Yeah, I think uh, just on that, Noah's really good in this front right corner. So, uh, Fukuma's going to have to be really, really careful about how many times he puts that ball in there at the moment. He's gone there probably a little bit too much. So, you know, he's going to have to be really, really careful. I think that's a good analysis, Andrew. Good to be joined by you today. Yeah, how are you doing? Are you all right? Yes, yes. I'm good. Thank you for asking. I hope you're doing good, good as well. Yeah, good. You enjoyed the squash so far? It's been an excellent tournament. These uh, two teams in particular have been really fun to watch. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, uh, Noah's made a really quick start here. You know, he's he's not really messing. He's not really allowing Krishna into the match here. Anything that's loose, he's punished it so far. So Krishna's gonna have to work a little bit harder to try and try and get in front. Here. All those these little holes are just causing Krishna quite a few issues. Giving a lucky break to Krishna. Let's see what he does with it. It's just a little bit of extra whip on that on that return of serve from Zaman that's just caused Krishna a bit of an issue there. It's come a little bit quicker than I was expecting. And Noah's been really clinical here. He's taking the ball in quick. He's been really sharp to the front and he's never really allowing Krishna to settle here. Krishna's always guessing where this, this ball is going. Cool. Krishna needs to play more decisive shots like that. Yeah, I think we need to try and you know get get Zaman, uh, no Zaman away from the middle of the court here. He needs to try and extend the rallies a little bit if he can. Um, Zaman here, he's gonna be, he's gonna keep doing what he's doing. On the flip side of what he's doing, he can kind of occasionally make a few errors, but you know so far he's pretty comfortable. He's a bit relaxed, so finding his targets well. yourself in a bit of trouble when you leave Zaman of that part there. I think this is the first slightly longer rally of this game. Yeah, I think yeah, Krishna needs a few more of these if he can. Um, just to try and extend the rallies a little bit and find his way into the match. Really well placed skill shot there by Krishna. He finally seems to be finding his form now. Yeah, he's extended a few rallies and that's kind of working when in his favour a little bit. Point is called. When the score is called, we expect you to be ready to receive the call, the, the serve. We've seen that uh, same shot a few times by Noor in this tournament where he'll try to hit it first time backhand 
and he go to place it really close. This club was the time to make it very deceptive for his opponent. And yeah, he's, yeah, he's you know, one of his strengths is his, obviously his shot quality and his ball striking is, is phenomenal, really. Um, the flip side of his game is he can make a few errors. Um, I think he's doing at the moment. Um, and that, that then causes the game to get a little bit closer. But when he's on form, you know, he's really hard to, to beat. Like that, he's been um, a really quick return of serve that's gone into the front. Indeed. I love that angle there. It really gives us a good idea of the some of the drop and kill shots that the players have been playing. Yeah, he's, he's, he's really good. So he's uh, got to be careful here, Krishna, at game ball. Slightly stop right into Krishna rather than attempting to play that. Yeah, he probably could have gone to the side there. Or that was where the ref was trying to tell him to go, just to the side to go and get that ball. Really excellent job there by Krishna. Yeah, just in the front there, Krishna just held the ball a little bit and. Had a really nice straight drive, and it's a man who's looking for the cross there. Just a slight error there, but I think apart from that, he's had a fantastic comeback. Either player yeah, or a good, good, good return from from the. Work there around the front of the court from both of them. I think in game two, Krishna is really going to have to find that form in the early stages of the game. Can't afford to let Noor build up a really massive lead again. Yeah, it's uh, it was a really good start there from Noor that, that really kept him in front really in that entire game and you're right I think Krishna only really got into it at about 6-7-1 down when he started to extend a few of the rallies um, so yeah it'll be interesting to see what tactic he uses in the second game you always see Noor with his coaches and the other players of his contingent Hamza Khan and Mohammad Ashab Irfan we will resume in 60 seconds This entire contingent, they've just been in really excellent form. Neither of them have lost a set. Yeah, they've been good this week. Um, yeah, they were the team basically that finished third at the World Juniors this year, or last year, sorry. So they come in as pretty clear favourites, really. They will resume in 30 seconds. You're seeing Krishna being mentored by his coaches Avinash Bhavnani and Dhruv. It's interesting to see what changes his camp has advised him to make.
Ali tentou a pelada do muro. And Krishna gives away the lead. It's an unforced error of his own. Yeah, I think that's one of the things, you know, when when the man gives you an error, the next, the next couple of rallies are crucial. You can't really give him an error straight back. When he's in his when he's in his groove, he's going to be really really hard to play. Beautiful work on the backhand side. Stop. It's a bit early in the game, but I think we're already seeing that slight change from game one where. Both players are attempting to go for longer rallies. Of course, Noor will yeah, punish Krishna, but... Yeah, he's going to be sh short and sharp again here as well, but... A bit of an easy error there, a bit of a gift and a lifeline for Krishna. Again, another one, you know, it's three gifts already, really, this game for him. An interesting one that I mean, Noah played the backhand drop but pushed it a little bit longer than what Krishna was expecting, and then kind of just held his position a little bit to make Krishna go all the way around. Um, I think it's yeah, it was a bit of a smart, bit clever from Noah. And that's another really nice drop shot into the front. He's very good at working that front part of the court, along with his boasts, of course. Yeah, his, his shot options, you know, usually has a lot of options, but sometimes his concentration maybe just lets him down every now and then, he throws a few in the team. Yes, and with the scores being a bit more evenly matched in game two, those unforced errors could Proved to be the changes in this game. Yeah, I think you're right, you know, those, those arrows are kind of keeping it probably a little bit closer than, than what it could be. It's a beautiful drop again, though, he kept it floor first, he keeps it tight, makes it hard, but then he gives you one straight back, you know. Yeah, it was good work there from Krishna. The drive stayed really tight and low into the back corner. The drop shot first, that kind of set up the rally for him. Oh, that's that's too good, I'm afraid. Krishna just gave a bit too much time to Noor. He had a lot of time to figure out exactly how he wanted to hit that, where he wanted to place that shot. Yeah. You see him just getting a little bit frustrated with himself, Noor, about his shot selections and stuff like that. Uh, bit of an easy one there from Krishna, should have made a bit more of that. Really, I think 
Shortlisting der Computerin. Yeah, nice hold there from Krishna. Krishna's tied the score at 9 all. Really deceptive shot placement that's not going on. Who is a bit unhappy with that call? Well, I mean, I think, I mean, to me, that looked more of a stroke, and I know that so, from the angle that we were given, it looked like a stroke. But you know, gives Krishna game ball. It's a crucial. It's going to be a crucial point. For both players. Rally, but good showing from both players again in game two. Can we have court services, please? Is someone to complete the ball? Court services. You can tell how much pressure Krishna was facing with how relieved he looked after that victory, just from a celebration. Yeah, he's obviously really pumped up for this, and you know, obviously, it's important to get the team off to a good start. In a, in a team environment, you know, when you're first on to court, the first match is about it, putting in a big effort. Make sure that you give your teammates confidence after. Um, so, you know, he'll be very, very happy that he's won that second game. Um, and then obviously, we have Team Pakistan here trying to get you no know, to maybe try and keep his error rate down a little bit. I think Noor is looking a bit more perplexed right now, vis-a-vis uh, -vis his body language. He seemed much more calm and confident after game one. Yeah, I would agree with that. I think some of those unforced errors just got to him. Probably he's thinking, what better can I do right now? Yeah, I think if he reduces his error count, you know, it'll, it'll make the game a little bit easier for himself at the moment. But just a little bit too high. Fifteen seconds. an area where Krishna needs to be really, really careful throwing that ball into that kind of area. Again, some more. Oh, beautiful. That cross court backhand volley of Moors is a really powerful tool in the bathroom. 
does get that kind of odd uh, placement to the tin every once in a while, but usually it's served him well. Yeah, the cross guard from the front there as well, just a little bit of hold and snap the wrist full at the last minute. Again, that drop shot gets up there early, a little bit of hold on it from the straight drop. You know, it looks like he's he's turning it back on here now. Yep. Again, another beautiful drop in front. Krishna just slightly frustrated with the ref's call at the moment. He's looking for some yes let situation for himself. I was thinking that Moore is just a bit too close to those drop shots. Yeah, I think he needs to actually uh, try, and, try and go and get a few of those. I mean, that's a pretty similar situation. Playing that risky backhand volley. Pakistan will need to take the serve when the call has been scored with call, right? Once again, we're seeing Krishna come from behind in this time. I think you need to be just a bit more patient in that final shot. Yeah. Uh, it's probably a little bit of a crucial time of the game here, 6 4. Three point lead for Noah would be good, 5 6, which would be even better for him. I think Krishna just taking that at volley wants to keep the pressure on me. I warn you twice, you need to be ready when the call has been scored. You don't have any time in between. You are taking too long in between serves. Uh, so as, as happened earlier in the girls, you know, it's now easy. Easy point there, ref, telling no that he needs to be ready when the score is called. And from 6 4, just a few seconds to go, and I'm back to 6 all. But the man's read that, he's read the cross, he's taking it early. It's pretty good for Krishna. But a little bit, the line and the length of the drive is, is always going to be too good there for me. So now. Great, looking to see his drive. No. Doing an that looked good to me. No, probably feeling a bit cheated this match. Some disagreements there with the referee, but so far he's turned his frustration into scoring points. Yeah, he's uh, needs to put some of that proportion into his shots a little bit. 
got himself a one point lead here, he probably needs this, this, this point. Good chance here. Did well there, Krishna, did well to get it straight and away from the volley. Like Honestly, sometimes it gets difficult to hear Andrew over the cheers of the crowd when either one of them scores a point. Yeah, I mean, I don't think there's much time for them to hear the score in between points, so it's... <laughs> so there barely seems to be any time between points. Short placement there by Noor, managed to receive Krishna. He's tied the score at 10 all. Deuce. Oh. Ooh! Good flip there. Yeah, that, the hold there at the front of the court was beautiful from Hunter just. Just held it just enough time to drag Krishna into the front left. And then it to the front right. I mean, I think, I mean, for me, the sweat patches look like they're there. To me, still a little bit from the fall. Noah's got a little bit close to that drop shot. Uh, it would be really easy for him that. They've got a little bit close to it position wise. And that drop shot probably needed to be floor first. Oh, that was wonderful work there. Emotion is just taking over him there. I think he wanted to win that one back to make a statement to the officials. Still staring them down, it seems. Yeah, I think he's a little bit upset. I think the, the, uh, the ball in the front right didn't look didn't look good, but uh, the angle that the refs have from the top there, it's pretty hard to see. I think is good or down, especially some of them that are really, really tight. So I think it's a little bit difficult for them to call. You can see all these gest gestations there between the game and all about the referee. He's uh, obviously a little bit annoyed, so just calm down and refocus. He's still turning his head back periodically to look at the officials. I think they're still in his head. Fifteen seconds. 
we're seeing a bit more jovial Pakistan team as compared to India. Probably feeling confident of Noor's chances. Probably try to cheer him up a bit after he seemed frustrated. Yeah, I think the focus would have probably been tried to get back to the squash rather than anything else. Yep. Early on, I think he needs to just not take that error to heart and just focus on calming himself down and regaining his composure. Such a good shot that from Moore. I mean, so hard to do. He's got there on the ball, he's entered his wrist through nice and straight. Such a difficult thing to do, but he's. So strong in those front positions to be able to do that. Actually, that's a better, better thing to do. The move allowed him just way too much time to be decisive with that one. Krishna maybe being a bit too cautious and relying too much on those lead situations. This is a crucial game for him to just build the pressure and get an early lead. Team cheering on their compatriots. Yeah, again, though, it's rather quite an easy error from No. He's got loads of time on that. He's got so many shot options, just making the ten. Yeah, no, it's a good angle to see the beautiful drop shot from from No. from Krishna. He did well to bounce back but Noor is a very intelligent player. He's going to punish him for those kind of situations. Yeah, I think he's kind of just picked up the pace a little bit here. I think they should probably request the officials to get it uh, caught clean if it's caught in a bit sweaty. It's a crucial game for Krishna actually.
don't have any problem with your eyeglasses when you win the point and you are serving. Conduct warning, time wasting, Pakistan. Once again, Noor is just thoroughly disappointed with the officials' call. Yeah, a bit of a lifeline there for Krishna. It's up against the wall here at the moment. The man's going all out. Look down to me. And I think the officials have given that is down. to pick things up here and finish it in four but he's right back in it but great return of serve from the you can see a bit more stern mood. he wants to end this game quickly There just to tell him no to try and calm down. Krishna managing to stay in this rally. But eventually, the record is too much for him and he makes mistake. Serve down the middle and right at the body. I'm watching your movement. You are going into your opponent. Yes, left. Watch your movement when you play the shot, you are taking off slightly your opponent the next. I'm watching that carefully, right? Yes, left, nine off. The referee just explaining to him that he wants him to try and clear a little bit better after the shot. Who's trying to do well to neutralize 
again. You don't want to be hit by the ball. It's not nice. It's not pleasant when you get hit by the ball. Now, play on. My thrust is just a little bit more and more. Some drama in this crucial game four. Yeah, right at the right at the business end of the game. <laughs> Everything said and done, it's Nur Zaman that has emerged victorious. In game four, he takes the first tie, giving Pakistan an early lead. We saw Noor uh, relying on that on that variation of the serve where he was delivering it close to the center quite often towards the end. I think that might be one of his favorite serves to pull out when he's in high pressure situations. Yeah, it's obviously a good time to use the serve. Make sure a little bit of variation as Krishna looks to volley the return. You know, he sends it down the middle, makes the hit from a slightly different angle, slightly uncomfortable position. Um, you know, it shows that he's thinking well at that time. Looks like it's Hamza Khan who will be playing the second tie there for Pakistan. Just like Noor, Hamza Khan has, has had an excellent tournament. He won all of his games. Seventeen year old player from Peshawar in Pakistan. He has a PSA ranking of 154. Apart from Noor, he'd be the second player from Pakistan to play all of their ties, except after Pakistan's dominant two long win over. Malaysia is there. He was supposed to play the third tie, but didn't get the opportunity. We're seeing the women's team, Malaysia, just a bit camera shy there. <laughs> they had a good showing in the finals. Fat Ambani from India versus Hamza Khan from Pakistan. Fat just slightly more experienced there. Fairly evenly matched up in the Asian rankings.
Path along with Shorya Bawa and Krishna Mishra to be the players that have played all the previous matches for India. And Path is the only Indian team player who has won all of his ties previously. Started off the tournament with a three love victory over Chinese Taipei. They have an interesting promo there. Interesting visuals. Got the opportunity to see Hamza play against Shamil yesterday from Team Malaysia. They had an excellent set of rallies initially, just having a bit of fun there before the match was eventually pulled off. They were eager to go on though. India scored uh, three three love victories against Chinese Taipei, Singapore, and Japan. Time. Malaysia proved to be tough opponents for them, but they still managed to get the edge over them, getting a two-one victory over them. And in the semi-finals yesterday, India scored a two-one victory over Korea. I think both players are warmed up. The ball is also. Warmed up, looking ready to begin. Just maybe a minute. They will start in 60 seconds. And Pakistan, uh, just the slightly more dominant side, at least on paper. They dispatched all of their previous opponents, Kuwait, Sri Lanka, Korea, Hong Kong, China and Malaysia in the semi-finals yesterday with a scoreline of 3-love. Hamza Khan, similar to Noor, has also built up an, a reputation this tournament for playing really deceptive shots with relative ease. They will start in 30 seconds. Good exchange of words between both the players. Just probably wishing each other good luck. Yeah, so I think Hamza's going to want to give a good start here. The ref's already calling stop. Not sure what's happened here. On 
goes for it from Hanka. Red one all. Play from Parth. Drive there from from Hamza from the front corner. Beautiful straight line. Didn't catch the side wall. Oh, really yeah, nice little good shots there. Yeah, nice little variation in the front. Short placement there from Parth. I think Hamza just already knew that that was going to be too a way for him to reach. Yeah, he kind of just pulled up a little bit early. Looks like Hamza Khan also is just unhappy with that call. <laughs> Good uh, desperation lob there from Parth. Just gives him a bit more time to compose himself. Nice. Got to be really careful with Ben similar to. For the earlier match, that he can't really just throw that ball up nice and high into the front there and give Hamza loads of time to pick up options. Again, just got a little bit close to the top of the tin there, trying to force it a little bit. Through that racket, there. And Hamza's built up a commanding eight ball lead. Yeah, it's all been a little bit quick as well, which you know, Path needs to try and get into these rallies a bit more. All just a little bit one way traffic at the moment. Hamza just trying to check which side he's supposed to serve from. And Hamza probably going for a similar cross court backhand volley there. Yeah, it looks like he's just kind of relaxed a little bit and he's happy just to try a few shots here and there. I think he just slightly misanticipated the bouncing ball and just 
bought it wrong ever so slightly. Another wonderful hold in the front corner. Makes path move all the way forward and then flicks it straight down the line. I think we're seeing a bit of worry in the Indian camp at the moment. They all look very serious. I think Hamza Khan still stayed back in court. I could hear him smashing a few balls. Yeah, he's probably a little bit relaxed and he's like to come out now in a couple of instructions. And... I've rarely seen Hamza bother, to be honest. Even on court, he'll uh, dominate the tee and won't make any sudden movements to any part of the court. He'll just be able to get to most balls and just one or two slight steps. Yeah, he's he's very calm under the under a bit of pressure. I think Pat's going to just have to put on the pressure from the get go there in game two if he wants to see some cracks in Hamza's armor. Yeah, he's going to need to work a little bit bit harder and try to make make Hamza work hard for the front of the court. He can't just give it to him and you know hope. Hope that you're going to get some rewards from that. You're going to make work hard for the front of the court. Play there from Krishna. Pardon me, yeah, the line, the line from Hamza. The way he took his space and hit that back on line was very, very good. He's just ripped through that. I mean, he's just absolutely hammered that ball into the nick from the back of the court. Made something that's very difficult look very, very easy. See Hamza building a lead. Nice 3 1 lead at the moment. Just felt like more of a lucky shot that one. I, I, don't, I don't think even Hamza can anticipate that. Yeah, he kind of expected his boast not to come back. I think he thought his boast was going to be too good and then it. Came back. 4 2 here, though. Yeah, it's nice, it's nice work because he just holds it a little bit, and then if you start to run to cover the drop shot, he flicks it cross court. If you Cover the cross court, he plays in straight drop, so it's good work from Hamza. That was probably a little bit too uh, adventurous from that kind of position.
I think Hamzat needs to calm down with more and he's pretty confident overall he needs to avoid playing those risky shots. Yeah, he's very confident at the moment. All the, all the shots coming out here. Having a little bit of an exhibition almost. Gonna be another one here. There you go. He just had way too much control of the court there in the last few shots. Yeah, he's just opening up here and showing everyone what he can really do. But occasionally on the flip side of that, then there's going to be a few errors that are going to sneak in. And Hearth's got to try and hang in there as much as he can and hope that there's a few more errors coming his way. Hamza Khan's full range of deceptive shots at display here. Yeah, the thing for Path is he, he needs to kind of stick to his game plan. He doesn't want to get, you know, him trying to open up as well, you know. He needs to try and stick to what his game plan is. Good. When he read it early, he was on the volley. It's all a little bit one way traffic at the moment. Oh, wow, he's absolutely hammered that into the nick. It's, uh, it's ridiculous what he's doing at the moment. Such delicate shots they have been played with so much ease there by Honza. It's hard to believe he's only 17. Yeah, it's uh, coming a little bit exhibition in this. It doesn't look like an Asian team final. It's well, it almost become a little bit of fun almost. Hamza has won the second game with a bit more dominant scoreline. Looking more and more comfortable with each rally. Here we see Ashab and Anas. Path coach Dhruv just giving him some tips and tricks to clinch game 3. Parth looking the slightly more tired one of the two. But I'm sure he'll be raring to go.
it's a really tight game for especially for Path. He can't be making any errors in this tournament. Yeah, he, he wants to try and work his way into this a little bit more. It's a little bit you know, too easy. It's a little bit one-way traffic. It's almost like he's a little bit resigned to the fact that he's up against a better player. Hamza just taking both of Parth's lobs at full volley. Doesn't want to give him an, even one second to recover. Oh, this is that's such a good get in the front corner. Such a hard rally, this for both of them. Really good rally there. Both players travelling to most of the parts of the court in that one. Gonna try and work his way into this path somehow. It's a big effort, but that's down and it's 5 1 and it's running away from him a little bit too quickly. That's good. Path yeah. letting Hamza dictate too much of this game. Oh, it's an excellent yeah, action. Yeah. Wonderful shot. I mean, just so, so, so much touch and delicacy just to put that into the front corner. He's gone for the big winner. Hit a few earlier in the match, but he missed that one. I think Bart just lost his composure ever so slightly. Looks a bit more mentally drained at the moment. Yeah, it's not easy when you're up against someone like Hamza who's having a good time and doing all these kind of funny, funny shots yeah, that are coming off. Flip that that rally on its head. Par thought he could just get away with that one by catching him off guard with a kill shot, but Hamza was anticipating that. This would be the time for a comeback. Yeah, I think I think Hamza's injured his knee slightly. Let's just hope it was a light bump and nothing too serious.
how much recovery time they have given to Hamza. It doesn't seem to be too serious. I think he's signaling the med medical team that he can carry on. His teammates seem very relaxed. So I think it might not be too serious. It's not a it's not a big cut, but the only problem for him is that if it if the cut opens up again, then you know we'll have to concede the game. So he needs to be really careful that in the next five minutes he sorts the cut out. The officials there ensuring that both players don't slip at all. We want the rallies to continue as much as possible. And Path seeming very relaxed right now. Despite being down five points in a crucial game. Let's hope this happy environment translates to confidence on court because this tournament is being conducted at Chennai's Indian Squash Academy. Considered to be the mecca for squash in India. medical team they're just trying to get the lower half below the knee bandaged not cover too much of his knee joint so that he can still bend and get those hard to reach shots continuing to warm up while Hamza takes his time to recover. Parth is based out of Mumbai. He has a national ranking of 7 and an Asian ranking of 22. As opposed to Hamza's Asian ranking of 43. Have the initiative with the serve. We're back. The game two. 
Yeah, straight back into it from, from Hamza with his, even with his knee and here we go, championship ball. There we go. That's going to do it. I'm going to have to the sky for Pakistan. The win the Asian Junior Team Championships 2023. Good sportsmanship at the end there from everyone involved. Hamza Khan, young and emerging talent from Pakistan. He's displayed some fantastic ability in this tournament. This could be the sixth time that India and Pakistan have met in the finals of this tournament. Alright, thanks for tuning in. Thanks, Andrew. Hey, no worries, Nero. Thanks, thanks for, for helping. Thank you. See you around, Andrew. Goodbye. See you. Bye-bye.